Hello YouTube, Mike here, and we made another eBay buy. And I found this little tap wrench, very reasonably priced. It looks to be a very quality piece. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. I, I just couldn't pass it up. And uh, the logo says Ace, number 88, made in USA. It appears to be chrome plated. Uh, I can just see where there's some wear where it's worn through the chrome plating. A little hint of copper underneath. They flash it with the steel with copper uh, before they put the chrome on. And uh, I can tell by the by the marks here, it looks to be, I would say forged. The body of this is forged. There's one problem with this and it's missing. If you can see the movable jaw going back and forth, it's missing its solid jaw. So that's what I'm going to do is to make a solid jaw for it. And uh, to that end, I have this piece of 01 tool steel and we'll whittle one out of that and heat treat it and throw it in there and we should have a nice little uh, tap wrench. So I think we'll go ahead and get started.
So I'll be narrating this part. And I've got this little piece of 01 here, and I'm just setting it on this fire brick. Uh, and that's what I'll uh, use to support it while I heat it up. And I've got map gas. I think that's going to reach uh, the temperature that I need to get it uh, up to critical temperature. And on the left-hand side, you'll see an old fry daddy that has some vegetable oil in it. And I use that to uh, heat bearings up when I'm going to shrink them on a shaft. And we'll use that to quench this part. And this is a quick and easy method to do small parts of uh, tool steel for heat treat. Uh, you wouldn't do this with a with a piece of steel that's got much mass. Let, let's say uh, three quarters by three quarters uh, gets a little iffy. Above that, you need to uh, use a furnace to uh, do a good job on it. I'm heating this up slowly, and I'm giving it a chance to uh, kind of soak the heat in because I want it to reach uh, the critical temperature all the way through. I can see some color beginning to uh, come on this piece and you don't want to heat it too much to where it's starting to sparkle. If it's starting to sparkle, you're starting to burn the carbon out of it and you're, you're going to burn the corners off and, and that sort of thing. So just take your time, get it up to a cherry red. And clearly the outside is up to temperature. And I'm just holding it there a little bit, giving it time to soak. Okay, just about there. So into the oil we go. Cool it down good. And now we're getting ready to temper it. And what I'm doing is I'm just shining it up a little bit on some emery cloth so that I can see the colors. Unfortunately, I lost the, the tempering part of the video. But I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to put this back on the fire brick. I'm going to heat it up. And I'm going to watch the colors run. I'm going to heat it up real gently. And the first colors I'll see is like a light yellow, then a straw, then a blue, then a purple, and then a brown. So the deeper the color is, the, the farther it's drawn back. And I'm going to draw this to a probably just a deep purple to a brown color. It's important that you shine it up pretty good because otherwise you just won't be able to see the colors when they start changing. So as you apply the heat, you want to play the torch on it and heat it up nice and gentle and slow. And when it reaches the desired color, and it'll happen fast, um, you want to go ahead and dip it in the oil and stop it from uh, changing any further. And so I think you can see this is a very easy process to master. And um, I've done it uh, literally dozens and dozens and dozens of times in my career and never had any problems with it. It's something that um, any home shop can do. And at this point, my camera finally gives up. But I will come back and show you the finished part assembled in the tap wrench.
Okay guys, as promised, I'm down here. I, I wanted to show you this uh, wrench with its finished jaw. And you can see about the color that I drew it to. I left the color on it. I didn't re-polish re it. And so it's, uh, it's just above a brown. This side's a little bit browner, but it's kind of a deep purple brown color. So really we have uh, a fairly high degree of toughness and uh, for this application that's about what we wanted so that's the finished product and I guess the moral of the story is if you shop around on eBay and you can find some some tools that have some minor flaws that with just a little bit of work you can make into some pretty valuable uh, items and I think that's what we've done on this. So I'm pretty happy with it. And until next time, guys, this is Mike signing out.